Nature has been throwing things out of whack all across the country this winter. In Vermont, climate change and erratic weather have changed the rhythm of the sugaring season, forcing syrup farmers to change their centuries-old way of doing things. Here's NBC's Lisa Daniels. In Montpelier, Vermont, Burr Morse and his son Tom are tapping the last of their 4,000 maple trees. This land has been in the family for eight generations. But never has there been more uncertainty years, about I when to about tap. In some years, like last year, we lost out. We lost the first run. But um, not worried this year. We're gonna. We're almost fully tapped. When Burr was growing up, it was a sure thing. Tapping began the first Tuesday in March. But now, warmer than usual winters are confusing the maples and the farmers. If they tap too early, then the tap holes will dry out and they won't collect as much sap. If they tap too late, then obviously there have been some sap flows that have already occurred that they've missed. Which means lost revenue. Last year, Burr was hit hard, producing only 700 gallons of syrup instead of his usual 1,000. That's when Burr decided to change his ways. The traditional way to tap a maple tree is to use a spout and a bucket and let nature take its course. Buckets have been replaced by tubes and vacuums. And Burr's son even convinced his dad to invest $10,000 in new equipment. Take some coercion to, to get him to go along with the new ideas, for sure. Burr knows his family depends on the sap. His brother sits it into candy. Smell that maple smell. And Burr will do anything to keep the farm for Tom. He loves sugaring like I do, like my father did before me. Even if it means doing what he hates the most, changing his old ways. Lisa Daniels, NBC News, Montpelier, Vermont.